Welcome to the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show, created and hosted by Scott Knudsen, to explore the crossroads of horses and business. Now here's your host, Scott Knudsen. Hi, I'm Scott Knudsen, host of the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show, but today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to have a live conversation with Anita Wagner and Lisa Varga about the movie Freedom and also Freedom Fridays that's coming out very soon. So let me introduce you to these two wonderful ladies. So Anita Wagner uh, wrote the movie Freedom. It's a true life story, and it's an incredible book, and it's going to be even a more incredible movie. Uh, So Anita, thank you for being on the show. Thank you, Scott. Good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you too. And Lisa Varga, she is an actress. She's a producer. Um, She's CEO of Lisa Varga Entertainment, and she's a dear friend as well. And she's in the movie, Freedom, and she's also producing the movie. And what makes it really fun is she's playing Anita's part. She is actually playing the lead in the movie. So, Lisa, thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Scott. I mean, this is just incredible. And how fun uh, it's going to be to talk about our time in Freedom, Oklahoma. Absolutely. Oh, so let's just start there. Um, So we were in Freedom, um, where, where most of the movie takes place, actually almost all of it. And it's Anita's life story. So Anita, you want to talk about uh, the experience in freedom and what we were doing there? Well, it was an interesting experience. I I was pleased that the town people, you know, welcomed us us home. I felt like I was going home. Um, It seemed like everybody had a great time. I've heard from a lot of the actors, the crew people who have said that uh, they're kind of having a withdrawal, you know, because it was so much fun. They're like, when can we go back? Um, it was just good for me to see old friends and neighbors and to be welcomed so uh, lovingly, really. Uh, I was a little concerned about going back. I wasn't sure the reception I'd get, but it was great. And uh, I'm, I'll go back now anytime. I'm feeling good about that. They loved you, Anita. It was like, a, a, you know, such a great welcome back for you. It, it was, was, it was amazing. It was yeah. amazing. It, it was fun to watch you walk into the different uh uh, different places you know and see the different people coming up to you and hugging you and I know it was so thing. neat yeah yeah it was very nice very heartwarming and they all you know they were all like oh you know we loved you uh, we know you loved Marvin Marvin loved you it was just kind of fun listening to their their getting, getting their input you know Cause sometimes over the years I would wondered what they thought when I left well, they sure made us feel welcome. I don't know. I mean, it was, yeah, it felt true. like it was home to us too. You know, they were so nice to us. I couldn't imagine what it was like to be you and, and going back to see that. Response. Well, they didn't always welcome me as well as they did this weekend, but <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was lovely. It was wonderful. I can't say more for it. It was great. Great experience. Yeah. What, what Especially you think, Lisa? surrounded what by everyone, you know, all yeah. the actors and you and all that. It was just like one big family coming home for a reunion. It and was. for them to see where I had lived, you know, for the book and, and the movie coming up, I think it was a good experience for everybody, including yeah. Lisa and yeah. you. Yeah, absolutely. It was me. I just had a great time. What do you think, Lisa? I'm just, I still can't stop thinking about it. We were, you know, only there like a week ago and there's not a day that goes by that I don't think of some kind of, um, you know, just really great memory or something, you know, I'm I'm laughing at some of the things that happened and just touched by some of the things that happened. Um, It was an experience of a lifetime, like nothing I have ever seen um, or experienced myself before. And everybody kept saying, well, how was your trip? What, you know, what happened? And I just, I tell everyone the same thing. It's, it's a different way of life there. One that I have never been introduced to up until then. Um, one that I wasn't familiar with. And it's just hardworking people who love one another. They would do anything for each other. I mean, they welcomed us with open arms. And I felt like, you know, part of the family immediately and part of the community. They just welcomed everyone with open arms. They were so gracious and um just the hard work that they do like even like the the kids on the ranch I mean even from day one it was just a mind-blowing experience of all good positive things and Anita I could see how you would leave this life of luxury to go live where it was more simple with people who they they don't care about the internet they don't care about social media how many likes you have on something they don't even watch tv half of them and they just 
they're there to live in the moment and um, just experience everything in a very different way than I'm used to. And it was a breath of fresh air. So I totally get how, um, yeah. how you got caught up in that and, and decided to live there as Absolutely. long as you did. I wanted to move there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad you got to experience it because that's kind of the way I got thrown into it, the same way you got thrown into it last weekend, you know. I just arrived and I didn't know what to expect, but I felt the same way back then. Very uh, different than the lifestyle I've been used to. Yeah. 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 And, and I think there... really... Oh, what were you saying? No, it's just hard to leave, you know, and then you're thinking about how can we get back and what can we do now to go back? Because everybody was so welcoming, you know, we, we were doing an event on a Saturday night and the lady that runs the museum just came down and opened it at 10 o'clock. And all of a sudden there's 50 people in the museum walking around. It, it was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, was, that lady, it, that lady worked for me for several years. She ran my restaurant. She was my bookkeeper in Canada. She, she was so glad to see us all. She was just thrilled. First thing she said, it needed, where's, where's my book? So I was sold out by then. I had to say, Tana, it's in the mail as soon as I get home. And I did. I sent her a book. So she'll be happy. Awesome. Hey, Anita. So before we go any further, how can people get your book? Because people ask me all the time. Okay. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. Well, it's Freedom by Anita Wagner on Amazon and also on our webpage, which is www.freedommovieproject.com. I, love that. And I have to jump in. I, I have to jump in for a second because I brought, the, I didn't know if we were going to have time to talk about it or what we would talk about, but I bought a copy the very first day when Anita and I started talking. Um, this is the book and I have, a. so I got the hard copy. There's like different mm -hmm. versions of it. I love this one because it's like a coffee table book that I'm going to keep forever. Um, but it. Anita, sent, you know, signed it, autographed it, personal message just for me. And it's, I love it. Um, I love you. This book <laughs> was, you know, Anita, when you and I first started talking before I even signed on or, or knew I was going to play you in this movie, I love to research. And the first thing I did was bought this book online. I'm like, where can I get a copy of your book? And I started reading yeah. it because I'm like, I have to get to know Anita. So this is, I mean, it's a fun read. I, I can't, you know, put it down. And it's like, I just kept reading it over and over again. But I mean, it's a, it's a pretty lengthy book. So take your time reading it, but you will know more about Anita that's not even in the screenplay. So this is how you get to know the ins and outs of Anita, Marvin, people in the town. I mean, this says it all right here. And it's the best Good thing job. that I ever did was, you know, read about you because that just gave me so much insight on your life and how you mm -hmm. felt and the story. Um, you know, but anyone that's interested in hearing Anita's story, the movie's going to be incredible. But if you want to dive a little deeper, um, grab her book now and you can, then you'll get a glimpse of what the movie's going to be about. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank we love you. it. It's, it's in our job. living room and we all read it. And, uh, you know, it, it, we've told friends about it and they're like, why did you do this to us? We can't put it down. Nothing is getting done. And they just keep Thank reading you. that. You know, <laughs> it, it, it's great. You know, it, it's such a good story. And you can, That's reaction you can, it gets. It gets yeah. that reaction. And, and once they read the book and then they get to hear your voice and meet you, then they understand why there's so much passion behind what we're doing. And uh, yeah. I think that leads to it for sure. Yeah, impossible to put it all in the movie. You know, you're taking a book, 435 pages and trying to get it into a, 110 foot script, uh, page script, it doesn't work. So, so I'm glad everybody's reading the book. Book sales are up. That, <laughs> that's it. great. That's great. Yeah. So Lisa, what's that going to be like to play Anita after meeting her and spending so much time and reading the book? I cannot wait. I have waited like my entire career to play a role like this. Just this strong female lead awesome. um, who is so similar to myself uh, I, I can't believe the comparisons that Anita and I, we have so much in common. Um, so it's going to be fun to play her because I've kind of lived some of the same things that she did, mm -hmm. but getting to know her the very first time we met in person was, you know, last week when we went to freedom, Oklahoma to, you know, to work with you, Scott on mm -hmm. freedom Fridays and the rodeo, um, but it's a funny story, Anita, I'll tell them how we ran into each other. Okay. So, day one Scott your wonderful family we were all staying at the lodge and Will uh you know brought his kids and we're horseback riding that day I mean it was like 
I don't know, it felt like 120 degrees. We were just sweaty and dirty and hot. And it was such a long day. We were filming, doing photos, interviews. And later that night, I was at the hotel where Anita was staying. And I looked horrible. Like, this is not Come the first impression you, you want to give anybody. I mean, I'm like filthy, sweaty, gross. Not and as bad as I did. <laughs> I'll let you, I'm going to let you, I think you looked adorable, but Anita had just driven like hours and hours from the airport with her sister. So I'm tired. I got my luggage. I go into the hotel, get my key, hit the elevator, doors open. Here's Anita with the ice bucket. <laughs> Just probably looking just like I did in her sweats. And, Something you know, worse I, than she did, believe me. <laughs> she, I mean, and immediately I knew it was her. I'm like, oh, Anita? <laughs> oh, no, no. And Don't we're like, me like we're, this. we said, pretend this never happened. We're going to do it tomorrow. But we did. We, we spent a little bit of time and it was funny because come on of all the times in the day and we're at the elevator at the same time and the doors opened and here we were a mirror of each other. So Dang that it is. was from the start, we we have had this connection and bond where we are the same yeah. person. We really are. Uh, from the minute we spoke on the phone, Lisa, I felt a, a great connection with you and I knew I made the right choice. You're just gonna be great at playing me. <laughs> I can't see anybody else doing it. Yeah. Absolutely. Y'all's chemistry and, and uh, I can see that for sure. And you just love life. And that's what's so fun about it. And and I can't wait to see what y'all are going to produce it and how you're going to compact the book into such a, you know, like you said, so many less pages. Um, because the stories well, are so right, right now, we've agreed to, guy, to go in and kind of uh, revamp the script and we're going to do it together. We're going to write together awesome. Awesome. and uh, kind of bring in some things that weren't in it before. Some of my background and, and Marvin's background and, uh, you know, as Buffalo Wake kind of said, clean it up a bit. We love it, but clean it up a bit. And we're going to do that. So we're excited about starting that right away. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. I think spending more time with you, Anita, um, you know, she took me to some very special places that nobody else really got to go see that day. Um, and I'll let you tell a little bit more where, where you took me to. Uh, <laughs> Anita, but it really opened my eyes and the story. Yeah. Uh, to to even more that was in the screenplay. So when we were talking about it, I was like, man, what if we opened it like this? Or you you have to talk about that. So I think yeah. as we spent more time together and the story unfolded, and I get chills when I say this, but I, I think even more of the story unfolded when we were there, Anita, and we found the perfect ending for the movie in that when, moment. When we did when we did our little breaking and entering. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh yeah are we going to talk about that yeah we, okay know. all right not on not on I have um well uh, listen I I kind of uh grabbed Lisa and my sister was with me and we got in the car and I said I'm gonna take you for a little ride so we headed south of town six miles where my old lodge was and got there and it was all deserted we're walking down the walkway nobody around whatsoever and Lisa's kind of taking it all in and she just loving it and can't believe that I did that you know and uh, we kind of turned around and maybe headed back a little bit. And I just reached out and grabbed the door and off the darn thing open. <laughs> we went in and took a little inside tour as well. Uh, that's okay. I mean, we didn't disturb anything. We just, we just peeked in. But yeah. But it was and the that, actual place. By the way, let them know, like, this is the place that you created. You built it. Yeah. yeah. And the new owners have made some changes. I don't find it as charming as it was when I owned it, but... Uh, right now, it's owned by Frontier Rodeo Company, and uh, um, um, and they call it the Stables, I believe. And it's, they still rent out rooms and stuff, but the restaurant is gone, the charm is gone. They made some great improvements to it, but it just didn't really feel like home anymore. Mm -hmm. Still, I walked into that room, and I, ooh, yeah, this is it. And then I took her across the highway, down the road, and we came upon the old punk house, where all so many, too much of the stories were told. And it was still standing out in the middle of an empty field now. It's totally changed the environment around it and everything. But it was there. It was standing. And we took pictures from the road because it was all fenced in. But I think that's when I felt the emotion hit, you know, because. I, I would say that was because 
and by the way, if you guys saw this bunkhouse, it's like, here was Anita living this life of luxury, you know, poolside, you know, fancy, whatever, cars, events. This bunkhouse, I can't it's imagine great. what it looked like inside, but the outside, I was Ooh. like, you <laughs> there? You must have loved this man because- <laughs> I loved him. I loved him for a long, for I loved him. I put up with that bunkhouse for about two years. And then it was like, I've got to build myself an oasis because this is enough, enough is enough. When it would rain, the water would run through. We'd have a river going through the, the floor, you know. <laughs> anyway, read the book. Read the book. You'll get it all. Oh, yeah. But uh -huh. um, from there, we went to the cemetery where he, he was buried. And I hadn't been there. I hadn't got to say goodbye. So that was touching, too. And then we did another little breaking and entering. It was chained on the fence so we got in. <laughs> You never know when you're with Anita what's going to happen. You're a lot like Thelma and Louise, you know? Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, I bet. yeah. I almost didn't get out of the car because they're like, oh, there might be rattlesnakes in there. I said, yeah, you, right. here. you guys just yeah. go. And then I said, no, I am committed. I, I am Cheyenne, 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 she says. I am Love Cheyenne. It. I am you, Anita. So I followed her in there. Took, And I have videos on my phone of just that moment. Yeah. Because yeah. I kind of stood back and I watched Anita just have yeah. time with Marvin that she hadn't had yet. I well, hadn't it, had it yet, you know, yeah. It was a, a beautiful, precious moment to experience, um, just watching. Thank her. you. I think it probably opened your eyes, you know, as far as playing me in the movie, I think all that helped you to see those little things that other people didn't get to see. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for going with me my little partner in crime. <laughs> I'm so glad y'all y'all were able to do that. I think that's so important for Lisa yeah. to see that, but for you to get to experience that again. Yeah. I said yeah. the end of the movie, Anita, you have to play yourself and do the cameo and it's like, there you are. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to need a personal yeah. trainer and all kinds of things if I'm going to do that. No. <laughs> You're going to wear many. No, we'll work on that, Lisa. We'll work on the ending. We'll come up with something good. Yeah. We got some good ones. I yeah. love that. I, I love that. So, so what was Lisa? So, what was your like favorite moment? Because there's so many already you've talked about. I, you know, it's so hard to pick a favorite moment. It's like saying, you know, what's your favorite movie or what's your yeah. favorite food? Um, because so many things happened. I mean, obviously, my favorite moment is getting to know Anita personally. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what this is all about. I have the responsibility and the privilege and honor of playing her in this movie and I just want to do it justice and I want to make sure I feel everything that she felt and and I have her mannerisms and her personality and so getting to know Anita you know such on a personal level like that was a dream come true for me and just it filled a place in my heart too of just this bond that we, she and I had together and, and I know you know God is in the center of all of this Absolutely. and I yeah I, I don't know what he's doing here but he's building a friendship that we're going to have forever um right. and things happened to me when I was there I mean I changed um yeah. and I felt like I had freedom through this experience and so it really was me like reliving her life and what she experienced when she wrote the book and the story and all of this took place. So I thought it was just so incredible to be able to truly be a part of that. Um, you know, but then you can't discount like day one when Will shows up, you know, with the horses and his boys and, and, and he's a character. These people were straight find out a place for him in the film. For sure. Will, we, we will find a place for you. I mean, that guy, he needs his own series. Yeah. Um, I felt like I Yellowstone was coming to life with yeah. them. And yeah. it, I was really like on a ranch really? with, you know, those guys, they were hilarious and, and um, just couldn't be more kind and, and helpful. So I think day one was like a really special time. Um, but Scott, I have to say the first dinner that we all went to with the family, yeah, that was high that class, was wasn't it? I'm like, was... I'm like, you tell that story. So, oh, well, I want to hear that one. I don't we're... know if you want to share it now, but I got to hear it. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Um, so we we're in one town. I didn't even know where we were at the moment. <laughs> I think you're we're trying to, to get Lisa Ilka. down um, from the airport and her, her phone wasn't working. There was no signal and, and it was pitch black. 
and we were just hoping to meet somewhere. So we met in a town. I can't remember the town's name. It was Elba. 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 Okay. Elba. And uh, so we met there the first time was in a parking lot. And uh, I don't even know how to describe it. So we went looking for a place to eat because we didn't have anything at the lodge to eat. And Probably late. Everything closed. Everything was closed and we were just so glad we were on the same parking spot because we were trying to get her down. We were trying to find her. And once we were there, we were good, you know, yeah. and then we found um, Sonic <laughs> and, and Lisa's never had Sonic before. And, and I haven't had it in a long time. And it was... Anita, explain Sonic. Do you guys have yeah, to uh, explain Sonic? Oh, yeah. I, mean, I mean, they got Sonic in every small town in America, don't yeah. they? They got yeah. good hamburgers. They got fries. They yeah, got it everything you need if you're hungry yeah, yeah. it's old-fashioned drive-in where you just drive in yeah. and they bring the drive food in. to you yeah. and uh um we were in i left my truck in texas and we took a minivan because i was taking rodeo banners and stuff up i i, I noticed she showed up in the minivan so oh I, my a white one <laughs> and there was four of them in a row on main street and i kept going to the wrong one so i was breaking in or in all the minivans <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so Lisa and I, we sat at a Sonic and ate hamburgers in a minivan. That was the introduction. <laughs> yeah, you, I, I imagine you told her you were going to take her out to a nice dinner that night, right? Well, we Doc? tried. <laughs> there was nothing open, but I will, yeah. I will say this. I had a BLT and it was probably the best right. BLT that I ever had. And I was looking forward to going to Sonic again. So yeah. well, listen, we need to get them as a sponsor. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. It was really good. It was yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah, that no. was our first meeting. We had, it, it was so hot that night, by the way, oh it was like 106 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember sitting in the minivan, Scott and Tracy were in the front seat and then we had the sliding door open because it was so hot. Yeah. And I'm That's sitting scary. in the back with Haley and Ava and we're all just eating our burgers. I mean, it's smoldering. It's like camping it, out, right? Yeah. It yeah. was great. It was so good though. You know what I mean? It just, it was like- Oh, well, when you're great. hungry. <laughs> you know, yeah, it was just a, it was just fun. Yeah. It was just fun. Yeah. And uh, like something, yeah. I wish I'd been there. Yeah, I do too. I we, do too. would have too. <laughs> that, would, <laughs> that would have been so perfect. Anita was yeah. the only missing thing that we needed right there. That yeah. would have been. I'm trying to think. I think, you know, my sister and I were hungry when we got there too. And we asked to get the front desk. We did find a kind of nice little steakhouse just up the road a bit out of ice yeah. and Awesome. I guess we could have done Sonic had it been closed. <laughs> oh, so so what? Let's talk about Freedom Fridays, um, and I, I think this is such a cool concept for for everybody because we were able right. to talk to so many people um, from the from the leads, actress and actors, uh, to the bull riders, to the production team, to even the locals, and yeah. we're going to roll them out every Friday. And uh, it's a team effort, you know, and I think it's so cool that we got to show that. Um, yeah, uh, that was so, so kind of you to even your well, wife, I guess, suggested originally, Tracy. Yeah. Well, all but, of But I mean, yeah. that was a long way for you to come. I mean, how, how many hours were you on the road, Scott? To get almost, there? almost nine or 10, something like nine that. Or 10 hours. It was worth it. I'd do it right now if we were all going back. Okay. I just, all but right. I'd, I'd take the truck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, well. Anyway, we have we, that's going to be a great uh, promo thing for for the film. Keep the action going and the interest going while we're uh, getting our uh, production package together with Buffalo Eight and uh, moving forward. And so, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just looking forward to your Freedom Friday, Freedom yeah. Friday shows, Freedom, yeah. Freedom Friday. I don't know how you said that over and over, Scott. I it's just hope freedom. I did. Every I time don't you even interview, know. you have to say it again. Yeah, that's right. That's you right. A whirlwind. That was a whirlwind. You did great. Thank you. I'm just so glad people get to see everybody that was there and experience some of no what kidding. we experienced, you know, from the mercantile to the freedom bar oh, yeah. to, the to the arena, oh, wow. you know? Yeah. I don't yeah. know if people understand, like, what, what is Freedom Fridays? I mean, it's basically a cowboy entrepreneur. I mean, mm -hmm. Scott, you just did the whole yeah. entire thing. Mm -hmm. and it was just bringing on, um, you know, cast and some of the crew uh that you know right. they were filming videos Local. that day locals the yeah. places and we shot in the mercantile the bar all through yeah. town and then the rodeo so yeah. i mean honestly you have months worth of episodes to release each week i mean this is going to take us you know for the next couple months of just 
you know, revisiting that and taking a stroll down memory lane of the good times that we had. And people will really get to understand more, um, you know, what the movie's about, who the people are involved. Mm -hmm. And, you know, man, we needed think, a to say think, thank you to everybody. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I think even once we, the movie, you know, gets out, we can still show those clips and everything to help promote yeah. the film and, you know, keep it going. I mean, we yeah. took some marvelous, we got some marvelous shots and great drone video coming in on the bulls when they bark. And yeah. It's going to be fun, Scott. Yeah, I think so. I think we can keep going. Yeah. I can't wait to see what uh, Lisa's going to wear in that attire back in what the nineties. <laughs> so hey, wasn't it great when Lisa uh, just popped out of the a barrel man's barrel? Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh my goodness, that was so that was cute. Fun. I saw the picture. I didn't see the real thing, but man, the look on Jay's face was amazing. Yeah, you know. So by the way, that was my first rodeo. I had never been yeah. to a rodeo before, you and. Did great. But, but what those guys do, they literally put their life on the line, the bullfighters yeah. and, um, you know, Jay, the, um, the barrel man. Uh -huh. I didn't realize, like, they get inside this barrel and they had me squat down and then I popped out and said freedom. You know, it was funny and cute. But I thought, if I'm in here and this bull comes and, like, knocks into this barrel and I'm rolling around in it, that takes somebody with a lot of guts, you know, that does well, it. And yeah. the bullfighters, yeah. too. Like, I never knew that's what they were doing out there is, you know, My quarters. writer. Yeah. I've never been in a barrel. Lisa, you got me on that one. Yeah, uh -oh. you know, it was interesting. Somebody asked Jay, he said, what does it feel like? And I've never been in a barrel and been hit. I've been hit on the outside, but not in the barrel because yeah. it echoes and it's really loud. And Jay's like, it's like running your car into a tree yeah. when the bull hits you because you, it's so much of an echo. And yeah, it's so yeah well, it was, and I'm like, you have a lot of power. Yeah, a lot of power. thousand pound bull coming at you. Right, right. You got well, Anita, it. we know what we need to do with you. Then we got to get you in that barrel and pop you out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I'm on a diet. I'll see. Maybe I'll stay. <laughs> hey, no offense, but if Jay can fit in there, you got no problem. Jay's not fat, but I mean, he's like a big, you know, strong, yeah, muscular guy. So you're don't worry, you'll, yeah. you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, somebody told me that you know we threw it to, we put it together pretty quick. You know, it was a team effort. Everybody working and so many phone calls and um, Jay and Liam and Crystal and the town and Valerie and just so many people. But somebody said there was over three hundred fifty volunteers to put this deal together. Really? Yeah, yeah, incredible? a lot of people. I mean, they came from eight states, Scott. You know, the stock contractors came all the way from northern Kansas and, and around the local area. Bullfighters came in from Texas, I mean, Arkansas, mm -hmm. Missouri, Kansas, all over the place. I mean, they just showed up. And it was all voluntary. That's what, you, what made it so unbelievable, you know. We didn't offer anything to anybody. They, I mean, uh, Brian flew all, you know, from Tennessee to be there. He's got, he, he uh, recorded the song Freedom, and he's going to be in the film. And here he is coming from Tennessee. And Renee from Texas. And, our star here from South Bend, Indiana, and me from Idaho, you know, and you from Texas. We just mm -hmm. came from all over to put that together, and it was amazing. Yeah. It was so cool because there was like 11 actors in the movie and, and the production yeah. team. I think we had three different production teams and all the locals, yeah. and it was so fun. You know, out of the corner of my eye, I would see an actor with a production person with a local just doing something. And it was like yeah. one big family, you know, oh, just no it kidding. all just meshed so easily. Yeah. Everyone, everyone looked after each other, took out, you know, if you didn't have water, you had it because somebody was there to give it to you. And yeah, I mean, I haven't seen a few with the umbrellas and that off that heat on Sunday, you know, give them the shade. It was, it was amazing. So it why really do you think, Lisa? A, a family, like a, a community, like you said, yeah. Scott and, and Anita yeah. both. It's like, if you needed something, somebody was there to take mm -hmm. care yeah. of you and help you. I've never experienced more, like, it was just so selfless and kind and yeah. people really like looked out and they genuinely cared about you. I mean, you don't get that mm -hmm. in a lot of places. It was a no. very special place. No, they could have easily, I mean, had it gone the other way, we'd have probably had a heart attack, but it went well. You know, little Valerie with the local newspaper, geez, she just went out of her way in so many ways. She deserves a trophy. <laughs> yeah, she did great. The mercantile yeah. stayed open late and open yeah. early. And very, just yeah. Yeah, just and just, Mona I, at the bar. Yeah, Mona's great. I got, a, I got a story about Mona at the bar. I about oh. had a heart attack when I walked in, and 
here she is with a cold beer in her hand. She says, Anita, and hands it to me. She says, this was on Marvin. I mean, I went, my heart went, oh my God, how can Marvin be buying me a beer? You know, he's gone. But it turned out one of Marvin's ex-wives showed up and put $300 on the beer tab and bought us all beer for the two nights, you know, we were there. Amazing. I mean, if ex-wives could come out of the woodwork, we got a maid. <laughs> That is it. Thank you, Jennifer, by the way. So so why do you think, Lisa, why do you think everybody just meshed so, I mean, it was so amazing. I mean, there were so many hugs. People prayed over each other. People worked hard. I mean, so hard. Do you think it was because they read the book? Do you think it was because uh, they need a story? Do you think, it was, I know it's the character of the people there, but there was eight other states represented. Yeah. And it just I all pulled it in. It's a combination of things. First of all, the people mm -hmm. there themselves they're in, incredible people who were mm -hmm. raised with amazing values and it, the mm -hmm. community and right. their, their morals, their ethics, everything about the people there in freedom. Um, that's why they treated us. So kind. that's the way we're supposed to treat each other. I think people right. need to take a, take note and a lesson from everyone in that town. I mean, the man, the, the men were like menly men and the women worked just as hard and everyone was yeah. friendly and kind and it was help your neighbor. That was the whole theme. And just, yeah. it just I, I've never met people like this before so I think that was a big part of it where they saw an opportunity to help and they yeah. did they got their hands dirty they did whatever they could um yeah. they gave their time they gave their money they gave everything um and it was gave just it all. <laughs> oh so humbling um yeah, yeah. You know, but I think too, you guys, you know, we promoted this and started telling people and Scott, you could probably explain this more than anything. I mean, you started off with just this concept and it was a little bit small and it just grew it just more grew. and more before you know it, you got like thousands of people involved. And yes, I do think people were reading uh, Anita's book and mm -hmm. they were, you know, seeing the Facebook posts that we were doing and everyone gets excited, you know, when you want to help someone tell a story or there's a movie being made. And, and they all said, oh, I want to be a part of it. What can I do to help? Not one person asked for anything. They just said, mm -hmm. what can I do to help? Yeah. Um, yeah. I just, I, I love everybody there. I miss them. Yeah. We, gotta give, we, have to give, we have to give Jay credit for bringing so many of men in the rodeo world. You know, he yeah. put that rodeo thing together, bull ride together in, what, 20 days? It was, um, 20, yeah, it was 20 days. And, and, uh, yeah. Record time. Yeah, it was really fast and, and yeah. uh, worked so hard. And so many sponsors jumped in behind that too. You well, know, Kenny, I couldn't and, believe all the banners. On we had the six or cameras. seven businesses yeah. that just wanted to contribute and help yeah. put it together. Yeah. And uh, that was really neat to see. Yeah, for pretty, sure. Pretty good, Scott. Good job. Uh, no, it was a. It was three hundred and fifty people or more. You know, it wasn't it me. It did. It did. Uh -uh. It took a village. I kept saying it took. It took a village. <laughs> and I loved it because um, when we were working on it, it just kept growing so fast. And, uh, and I was talking to Anita the whole time, like three or four times a day by messenger and all this. And I started talking to Lisa, and then Jay, and it just started growing, and the network. Yeah. Grew. And, and oh, I remember towards the end, I had to remind you we might need some porta potties. <laughs> You know, <laughs> garbage we, cans and the little things, cans you know, and little things like that. Tractor to plow the field to get yeah. the dirt loose. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so much. It all just came together. It Amazing. Did. It, it really did. And I think we got a lot of that on video and a lot of pictures, you know, and that, that was great. We could share that for sure. Wonderful. Yeah. It's so, a real boost for the movie. Oh, I think it is. You know, I think it puts yeah. people back into your book. Yeah. And, and everybody has a little bit more vested interest in your story. Because they see yeah, the people that are sure. going to portray it, and they see the people that have lived it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and they liked us. They just everybody yeah. seemed to like us. They welcomed us. You know, we yeah. were, we're, we weren't a threat to anybody. We're like they all wanted to be a part. They did. Yeah. Well, Anita, you know, you have an incredible story, and it's one that uh -huh. needs to be told. Yeah. So from someone, you know, I've been in the entertainment business a long time. I've been involved in a lot of projects, but. Your story is one of those that when people watch this movie, they're going to be touched by it. Um, they're going to take a step back for a minute and think about life. And, yeah. and so freedom has so many different meanings. Not only is it a town in Oklahoma, but it's freedom because you became free through this experience. Yeah. You found freedom. It, you found yourself. I, you found true it, happiness. Yeah. I went there to find my freedom, actually, you know. 
Yeah. And I found it in so many ways. I mean, I lasted 13 years. Most of them good. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, it, this movie needs to be made and we are doing everything oh, yeah. we possibly can, um, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. to, to make that happen. I mean, I, you just did the Kickstarter to, you know, get some things going and we've got meetings, you know, I've got meetings next week. I'm going to yeah. Geneva and other, you know, Chicago and, um, you know, Scott, you've got meetings in Texas well, yeah. and it's we're, just it's yeah. incredible how many people are interested in this. And I can't wait to pitch the project to them and tell them more about it and say, you know, you could be a part of this to help tell this story and literally change people's lives for the better because of it. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And you see those investors calling now, like kind of like what we did, what else can we do to help? Now the investors are even doing yeah. that. Like what can oh, we do yeah. if we want to meet with oh, them? Yeah. Yep. yeah. And we kind of put the buyer under Buffalo eight. Now they're all of us. They were going to kind of be a few months later. Now they're like putting things together and they have questions and they, what can we do here? And they're watching the Facebook page yeah. and friends of freedom group page and saw the events, you know, live on there. And they're excited now too. They Absolutely. like the movement we've got going. This freedom movement is amazing. It's yeah. So Buffalo lot. eight is the production company that we're working yeah. with. They gave us a whole checklist of, you know, you have a great project here, but let's make it even better. Yeah. And so, you know, we got to work on the screenplay a little bit, just polish it up. Um, yeah. You know, we need to put together a sizzle reel, a trailer, edit these videos for Freedom Fridays. I mean, there's a lot of work that needs to be done wow. still, um, yeah. you know, in order to for them to put it in front of the right people. So Buffalo 8 has been great. They're like, listen, if you get all these things checked off this list, we've got 3,200 people we can put this in front of and yeah. even, you know raise you more money that way we can get like star names into it. like big you know i mean we're right, talking right. we can make this even bigger and better than we ever imagined because i think what it is is we all started with this project with heart you know mm -hmm. even Friday, oh, yeah. Fridays, and it's just organically growing bigger and bigger and you know with yellowstone and these modern day um you know westerns being so popular right now, this falls right into that category with some of those. Definitely. And, you know, I've got meetings set up with Netflix and, you know, a couple other really big names that could take this even bigger than we ever imagined. And I, I have a feeling one day we're all going to talk about this and say, we just thought we were working on this little independent film. Can you with believe it? Yeah. And, it be a you know, here we are on for years, you know, with our Academy Awards. <laughs> Not that that's what we do it for. But. No, I, I love that. And, you know, the story of Benita is just so incredible, but there's so many sub stories underneath that, you know, sure. with Mo at, at the bar and with everything else that goes on with the rodeos and hauling the yeah. bulls. There's so many stories underneath your main story. And, really? and uh, yeah. you know, for sure. And that's what makes it so exciting because it, it's it's different in the fact that it's a true story. And and yeah. uh, that that's what's so cool about it. And you did all this hard work. And this... I don't think anybody could have made it up, Scott. It's true. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no way. There there's no yeah. way. Um, yeah. And some of the people we were talking with there, we we were joking, but we're half serious. Like we really need to do a reality show mm -hmm. about oh, some yeah. of the people that are um, that are in freedom because everybody would watch. I oh. I, just, I couldn't take my eyes and ears off of everything that was happening in front of me <laughs> yeah all day long all yeah, day yeah. long you know it, I, I had warned lisa in the beginning you know watch out for those cowboys and they're <laughs> sweet talking you know i i had to sit back and just watch them coming and going coming and going they all had a story and a line for lisa you know i think you they were make they were gonna marry her gonna <laughs> oh no i got a few marriage proposals i mean I, yeah. i'm thinking about it you know and and then i would really be like anita and live her life again um you know Go just, grab the cabin you know, <laughs> no yeah I'm not no. living in the bunk house the is for sale lisa i don't know we could see hey <laughs> oh, i do my. need to learn how to dance better though i will say like one of my one of my biggest things that I need to work on is my two step. Because oh, if my. I did a great job, maybe they can teach it. Who did? <laughs> who oh, who did? Scott and Tracy. Scott oh and Tracy yeah, out there doing yeah. the two step when the band was playing. Yeah, yeah. they were good. I don't know. And that was cool too to have Jake call up say, "Hey, we'll play after the after the roadie no after kidding. the riding," and then Brian played and. You know, just another Oklahoma boy that just did so much, you know, yeah, and seeing it. Still doing things behind the scenes, Jake Bowers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's doing what he can to help us behind the scenes. So yeah. And they all are. 
Yeah, so you got Jake Bowers, who's amazing, but we didn't realize that Will was also the drummer, you know? Yeah. He, oh, you yeah, know, yeah. I don't know. I think he does everything in Freedom. So he- uh, He does got, everything. He's yeah. a rancher. He's one of the Yellowstone guys. He's got and a well- How many kids did he have, Levin? He has like a, like 100. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, um, I think he had 11 kids. So I said, boy, I know what you cowboys do out here. They, yeah. yeah, they don't get TV. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's what it is I think I think um, also I think it's important how fast the Facebook and your social media is growing and all the I think it's yeah. just a thank you to the, the, all the new people that are every day you're posting the new followers yeah we're going to have to get a new Facebook page you know I'm, I'm all full up on my personal and then uh, growing like crazy on the uh, Friends of Freedom group we have yeah. 2400 I think this morning probably 2500 by tomorrow every day it just grows yeah so much interest in it just a good old-fashioned western you know the way the world is today it's like they need a good people need a good story yeah. uh, something with a message and uh you know get away from all the wokeness and the, this and that that goes on you know yeah. i don't yeah. want to be political it is a great message for people um you know just to live a better life and and this is yeah. the way it was to love your neighbor, you know, exactly. everybody get along. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. One argument, one disagreement. No, nobody even talked about views, what they believe, oh. what they don't. It was never even brought up. It's no. just, oh, no. hey, they I love, love you. What can I do for you? There that wasn't was even a, hardly a handshake. You know, that's kind of the code of the West is handshakes. They were all hugs and how you do yeah, it. Well, I've yeah. seen them coming at me, old friends, you know, they'd be coming across the room. They, smile would start you know and I go oh my god here comes another one so Anita um, what was that like what was that like so after this this long from being there and you were there for 13 years and you're standing somewhere and you see someone you know coming was it like every every turn was a high school reunion was that what it felt yeah. like well it felt kind of like I, I was coming home and then maybe I never left except we were all older you know and sometimes I'd have to say no what's your name you know because they changed a bit, but once you talked to him, you knew, I mean, you knew if you, if any, if you got to meet the guy named Vic, uh, he was doing one of, well, every time I got to tell this, let's back up, uh, Drew Pollock, you know, who's playing Rowdy in the, in the movie, he said, Anita, I think seven or eight men came up to me in, when we were in the Freedom Bar filming and they all said, Marvin was my best friend seven different men, you know, so how many best friends does Marvin have? Marvin was loved by all, really. I mean, he had his this and that, his issues, like we all do, but he had a lot of friends, and he was loved in freedom, so therefore, I think they loved me because they loved him, and maybe seeing me kind of brought back some memories of him when I was there this weekend. Wow. That's a great point. Wow. Yeah. What, what was it like seeing uh, the bull riding in the Freedom Arena? <laughs> Brought back a lot of memories. We used to take our bulls before I built the arena out you know, south of town. We would bring the bulls in once a week into town, six miles, to train them. And uh, yeah, oh, great memories. So, you know, we, we'd fill all those pins back there with our bulls. And riders would show up from here and there and around, and we'd train the bulls. And just did it all the time. I mean, we had some good bulls. <laughs> so so when they're seeing the pictures uh, on, on social media of the bull riding, they're seeing what you did with your bulls. Yeah. So it's all, it's nothing yeah. staged. Everything is just real. No, no, it's just it's right real. out of the book. Yeah, it's just right out of the book. That's so cool. Great. So cool. Yeah. Golly. And I love the new website. Oh, I think I did a good job. I think you did a wonderful <laughs> Thanks, job. I mean, she, she, she does it all. I did. Yeah. This woman can do anything. I mean, she writes books. She writes great. I said, Anita, you've never written a screenplay before. This is your first one. She was like, yeah, you know, I, I, I figured it out. And it was, I mean, for somebody who this is their first screenplay, I mean, come on, it was great. And she's creating websites. I mean, pages. She's so savvy. Like she's better with technology than I am. Um, there, I don't think there's anything this woman can't do, honestly. Well, listen, I've been a one man band for a while here. You know, I've been working on this for over 10 years. So I have to, and on a very limited budget. So I do, I have had to do it all. And to the best of my abilities, now I got this great team and wow, I don't know what to do with them. They're just outshining me. 
No, I don't think that can be done. Um, it takes a village. I mean, and it, this has does. been your labor of love for so long. And finally, you know, we, we said, God brought you helpers. So here we are. Yeah. And yeah. you know, now it's like, you've done everything you possibly could up until this point. And now your helpers are going to help you. And then we're going to take it a little further. And then other people yeah. are going to help us take that further. Um, yeah. which, you know, I know you're doing everything. You've got the Kickstarter, you've got the website. I mean, everything's in place. Um, you know, maybe. Well, there's more to be done. Yeah. And, you know, thank God for all of you because uh, it was time. I always said, and you know, with God's timing, it, it the time will come when it'll be right, and everything will just fall into place, and that's really what's happening. Absolutely, it's all falling into place. Do you want to give the address to the website just so people can go and well, look? Yeah, yeah, it is the www.freedommovieproject.com, and you can buy books on there, and you can also read all about us. We've got a page we just put in called uh, Get Involved. So if you want to star in the film or, uh, you know, have a small walk-in part and have a little pocket change, you want to uh, invest in our, our startup for our, uh, we've got to have a little fun to keep moving on, tell you the truth. Tell them some of the things you put for the Kickstarter, um, some of the perks that they get if they, uh, if they decide to in, invest and help us move this project even further. Um, um, well, we're going to let them come on set, have lunch with Lisa and Drew and the crew, and uh, uh, have a walk-on part in the film, uh, have an autographed copy of the book, autographed copy of the script, uh, t-shirts, ball caps, you know, all the little perks that hopefully will bring them in. I love that. I love that. And I, I think people are, are, are loving to watch because the engagement, I see when you post something. All, all the messages that come through oh, yeah. and all the shares too. So oh, people yeah. get involved in, in, in their way, which I love. Yeah. I think it's so fun to watch. And I've had people, you know, experienced in the movie field that said, I'm doing it wrong. You know, you can't put everything out there. Don't spill your guts. Just, you know, keep things behind. I just can't do that. I'm like an open book. <laughs> so these people on my group page, uh, friends of freedom group page, they love it. You know, sometimes they'll come up with suggestions that I'll use, you know, sure. Yeah, yeah. you told me that before, and I, I told you, I don't know if I ever told you this, Lisa. She told me that, said, everybody says I'm doing it wrong. And I'm like, okay, she had seven car dealerships, so she was successful. Well, her, bull, right. her bulls went to number one, you know, so yeah. successful. Everything you've done, so I'm going to push my chips on what you do. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? I know it. she does everything the unconventional way that yeah. no one would expect. It, it's, it's like Frank Sinatra. She does it her way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good oh, yeah. That's yeah. my thought. Like, I've never experienced it. Like, this is why I love the fact that I get to play you in this movie because I'm very similar to that as well. It's like, you know I what? Know you are. I'm going to knock on the door, and if it doesn't open, I'm going to kick it in. Absolutely. And that's what Anita does. It's like, we're just kicking down doors. It's like, yeah. we don't care. It's like, we're going to get this movie made no matter what, because it's a story that needs to be told. We just have to tell the right people. That's all. And Absolutely. And you need to jump Absolutely. on board and say, we will help you get that done. Absolutely. I got a kick out of Lisa and Freedom. She kept telling me, Anita, you know, if things get tough in here, I'll take the bullet for you. <laughs> I, well, because we really thought you might get you shot at when you were there. And I said, I will take the bullet for you, Anita. Yeah. So, yeah. I was really, she's really into the part. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. So what's next for the movie? What? Where are we at now? What? what so somebody's watching this maybe for the first time. What's next? So, so, so we can you jump in you now. You want to tell them about your little jog up to Chicago and Lake, Ch Lake Geneva? Some yeah. Like so somebody from the Friends of Freedom, and I believe you met him, um, you know, about a year ago, Anita, at the, uh, at the national, well, it was in Vegas, right? When you met Ron? Well, well, I met, I met Ron two or three years ago, short story here, and then you can take over, but he, out of the blue, um, emailed me one time and he says how can I get your book and I said well you go on Amazon you can order it or go on my website he says I don't do that he says can I send you a check so I said sure send me a check I'll send you a book and that happened really about three years ago and Ron up in Wisconsin Lake Geneva he has been involved in the back he's been trying to get me investors he's just always pumped up about this well, when he saw this movie stuff and the things we did last weekend, now he's back on board. He's got some investors lined up. Lisa's going to drive up and meet him up in Lake Geneva. And her and I may go up to the local rodeo the end of August and 
just because of uh, Ron's interest in it. But he does know some people, and we'll just see how that goes. Yeah, I mean, so just from Facebook, you know, when people, I, I guess what we would ask people is if you see this and you're passionate about helping or, you know, what can I do to help? It's spreading the word, sharing the story, sharing the links, yeah. um, you know, just something as simple as that, you know, Ron had said, can you come up to Lake Geneva? I've got two people, you know, that could fund this tomorrow. So yeah. I'll be there, you know, and, and you, we have to take that opportunity and, you know, same thing for you, Scott, I know you're meeting with some people too. I mean, yeah. and it's all surfacing from um, social media, uh, you know, yeah. the, the Facebook page that we have and it's word of mouth. Yes. The, this is a uh, front page of the perspective, the investor's perspective. What do you call it? Well, it's, it's called a pitch deck. So we did a, a pitch, pitch deck. deck. Yeah. yeah. He just created a wonderful pitch deck that we're going to present to the investors in Chicago and and around. I mean, they're coming out of the woodwork. They yeah. really are. And then uh, Buffalo Eight, really, they're going to follow through once they get their whole production package together. I mean, this is going to get made. There's yeah. I don't think right now we're just trying to stay afloat with a little bit of money to you know this and that from uh, copies of. Uh, Things. I mean, everything's expensive. Scott, you know, I mean, it costs a small fortune for you to come up there and put that show on. I mean, everybody, it costs us money to just get there and, you know, gas and all those bull rudders. I mean, anyway, we need to uh, generate a little bit of cash capital to keep us going until the big money comes in. Right. And, and so, 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 funding, so funding is one, polishing funding. the script. Um, yeah doing the freedom friday so there's a lot of a lot of moving parts going forward we're yeah you know. yeah we're staying busy yeah i think so lisa busy. and i were both frazzled yesterday about after oh 10 hours gosh. you know like, i was on I the phone for I 10 hours straight computer. it yeah. was like you just it was one after another and then somebody calls back and then you have to do this then yeah. you have your real life you know and, yeah. and jobs and other things that you have to do and, and projects that you're working on yeah. Um, you know, but when you do it, you just, you love it so much and you're passionate about it. It's, mm -hmm. it's never work. Um, yeah. you know, it is. what you're doing, yeah. uh, it's exciting. Right. It's a challenge. And it's like every day something new happens and we get great news or answered prayer. And it's just really neat to yeah. see this, this project come to life. And so many people get involved and so many people that want to help, but a lot of them do ask, well, what can I do to help? Well, right. you know, spread the yeah. word. You got people that, uh, you know, are potential investors, let us know, we'll get in contact. And by the way, if you get somebody that's an investor, you know, you get a finder's fee, so there's something in it for you. I mean, there's all kinds of things. That that tax write-off, don't forget that tax write-off. Oh, that's the biggest thing. I mean, when you're investing in, in this film project, um, it's 100% tax deductible. So, I mean, if you're looking for a tax credit and, and want to, you know, contribute to a good cause it's a win-win for everybody so that's a big deal for that absolutely absolutely well y'all thank y'all so much for uh doing this this is so much fun just having a talk and and uh well, lisa it was so good getting to know you and i feel like we've been friends forever and and anita thank you so much for the opportunity and uh you, you know how i feel about you as well and and uh yeah thank it, you it, we're just one big happy family absolutely i love it we're i love family. all of you yeah, yeah no, absolutely we're kind absolutely. of scattered around the country but thank god for zoom huh yeah, yeah. absolutely well thank you all so much and and thank everybody for supporting the movie and and freedom fridays <laughs>